And this video is brought to you by my friends over at Skillshare. In today's video, I'm gonna take the film camera to the oldest city in Denmark called Ribe. And we're gonna take some photos there, black and white. And if we see anything on the way in the car, we're gonna stop out and also photograph that. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what you think. Okay, I just found a place where we can stop. So we can take photos of this beautiful, nice scenery that we have to the right that you see here. There are so many nice like trees here, but it's guarded with this fence you see. Uh, my mom will stay here. Is there snakes here? Let's go. Today we are in Ribe. It's the oldest town in Denmark and actually the oldest town in Scandinavia. And we're gonna shoot film, black and white. Let's see how it goes. We create a perfect world in our heads. And also it's December still. It's not December when you guys see this, it's January, so happy new year. But it's still December here, so there will be Christmas trees all over, but that's how it is. This is some old school street photography here. <laughs> Look at all these small, small streets. It's a really special city. And by the way, today I'm shooting with the Rolleiflex 2.8F with Kodak Trix, and I put links to both of them in the description below in case you're interested. Now we should try to see if we can get a couple of street portraits in. And I get a lot of flack for me having easy access to street portraits in Mexico because I look like a tourist. But here I look like everyone else, so let's see how it goes. Thank you. I take a of people you in Denmark. Is it okay to take a picture of you? Yeah, but you're all for old. No, but you're all perfect. Thank you. Maybe if you stand to this side. Yeah, precisely. Yeah, precisely. So let's see here. Two seconds. One goes out to everyone who says I can't do street portraits in my hometown. <laughs> This is so slippery. I mean, one day in Denmark, I need to go back when there's this thing called Black Sun, where a lot of birds, like you see here in groups, fly all over. And also a fun fact is that Ribe, this city, is one of the first trading towns for the Vikings in Denmark. So now you know. <laughs> Be very nice if a person 
would walk the bridge while we're here for the photograph, but let's see. I usually don't play the waiting game in this. I just move on. But for this photograph, I think it's worth the wait. Okay, let's, let's see if we can get this photo right here. Was it good or was it just me who thought it was a good photo? Look at all these nice and cozy places they have in this small town. It's so difficult to know what's private and what's not private because it all looks like cafes but it could be homes as well. I'm just gonna change the roles and then we keep going. This is very much a private place, <laughs> but it looks very pretty. We are ready for the next row, and then we're gonna end with some specialty food in Denmark that I will reveal later that I have looked a lot forward to and it's a shame I've been in Denmark for three weeks now and I haven't had it yet. You'll see what it is. <laughs> Before we continue, I would like to thank my sponsor, which is Skillshare. And right now, there might not be a better moment to focus on input instead of output and try to learn something new for when the world returns to normal. And luckily for us, Skillshare has us covered with a lot of different classes in photography. One that I would like to highlight, though, is one by Andre Wagner about how he does street photography and documentary photography. After you have taken the class, you might walk the same streets in the same city but with a fresh perspective, which is important. So make sure to check it out. I put a link in the description. It's worthwhile. And the first 1000 people who sign up using the link that I have in the description gets a free trial to a Skillshare premium membership. And this is the famous Riepe Domkirke that I don't know much about. <laughs> Now it's time to get the Danish specialty. Let's do it. Okay, here it is, the Danish national treasure that is hot dogs. Let's get two hot dogs right now and wrap it up. All right, guys, this is it. We got the hot dogs, we got the chocolate milk, and happy new year to you guys, and I'll see you next time in Mexico City. So we just returned from Ribe, and on the news they said that there might be snow here tomorrow. So before we end this video, we're gonna wait till tomorrow, see if there's snow, and then I'm gonna take you guys out with me to see if we can capture some of the snow on this camera. Fingers crossed, and let's see what happens. Okay, so now we're back in Yating, in snowy weather. In Denmark, it gets like, we get a white Christmas once every 10 years maybe, so it's still super new for me. And we're at the same place in Yating, where I was in my last video about Denmark. And if you haven't watched that, I'll link to it up here so you can check it out. Let's try to see if we can get some nice, cool, snowy photos. Where is the photo? Is the photo in the open space or between the...
Okay, I think we got it. So let's call friend. It's gonna be strange going back to Mexico in like t-shirt and warm weather and tacos, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. I need, the lens is getting a little wet, so I need to protect it. These raindrops right here killed so many of my last photos that you see here. All of them are like watery and stuff, so I need to protect this. We're gonna end the Denmark videos here. I hope you enjoyed it. Next video you will see will be me in a lot warmer weather in Mexico. See you guys soon.